Hello, everyone. I'm Xi Ming Kai, Professor Yu Li, and I prepared this short video on the perspectives of water resources management in China. Let's get started with the chronology of water governance in the US. As you know, it started from navigation in late 18th centuries to land development, irrigation, drinking water supply, power generation, flooding control, recreation, water pollution, ecosystems, and to sustainability today. What is China doing today? China is doing everything listed here on water management. So it is complex and a challenge to do all this things simultaneously, since people have to deal with the coordination of conflicts among multiple purpose and sectors. China is taking mixed tradition, traditional and modern technologies. China is building large scale hydraulic engineering projects uh, and ecosystem restor restoration projects simultaneously. China embraces both administration and market-based strategies. So in the following, we will share with you a couple of innovations. China is now promoting national water networks featured by the uh, giga scale South North water transfer projects. If all roads are impl implemented, the transferred water will be equivalent to that of two Colorado rivers. At the regional scale, the government has put a lot of efforts on River Lake Link. Uh, the goal of the water networks at both the national and regional scale is to coordinate hazard mitigation, ecosystem restoration, and uh, uh, water uses as they planned. Hydropower is one of the major water resources development in China even today. So in the past decade, the development and operation of hydropower as a single energy source is shifted to a coordinated multi-energy systems. Especially, China uses wind and, and the solar energy um, to the operation of the pump hydropower stations. China has the large, largest pumped storage hydropower capacity in the world, and the capacity will be tripled in the next 10 years. Smart water systems are planned and constructed everywhere today. China is needing the large scale SWAT, uh, smart water systems development. So here I share two examples. Baidu AI is transforming urban water systems operation in Guangzhou, the largest city in South China. Uh, Huawei collaborates with Three Gorges Corporation for the operation of the largest dam in the world. Both Baidu and Huawei are IT chains in China. Uh, so we see a unique model for large scale smart water systems development based on close collaboration between government, uh, industry, and users. And in many cases, the government plays a key role in moving things forward. So this is strongly supported by the institutional setting in China today. There is a Bureau of Data uh, with, with the central, provincial, and the local governments, which supports the large-scale data-driven projects in China. In summary, China's water management is complex by dealing with many different things at the same time. The country is using mixed traditional and modern methods and approaches where government uh, plays a key role. So many efforts end with great success at present. However, the country needs to consider any potential unintended consequences to both the natural environment and to the society. Thank you. If you have any questions, please contact us.